Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am Lori. Hi, and welcome. <laughs> everybody so as you can tell by this title I'm gonna be reading the series the mind F <laughs> I don't want to get what you call it so series <laughs> and it's by ST Abby and the first book is called the risk they're really short it's a novella but it's in like you know the novella so it's like but there it's all five books are you know the same characters and stuff it's just that you know they break it down you know how sometimes they'll they do that like they do a hundred pages or 110 pages or something like that you know but anyways so I down I bought the whole series and I'm going to be reading it and there's gonna be spoilers so if you don't if you ever plan on reading this, don't watch if you don't want to be spoiled. But otherwise, if you don't mind spoilers and you just want to um, know about it, and then it might make you you know want to read it, or maybe you don't mind getting spoiled for the first book just to see if you might like it, and then you could continue on without being spoiled and just watch you know before I start the next book, whatever. But the first one is called The Risk, and it's about this. She's a serial killer, and she falls in love with the cop that is investigating the deaths of the people that she's killing. And she does have a reason for the deaths, of course. She wants to, it has something to do with revenge, I think. It sounds like it. I just read the first chapter so far. And yeah, she met the guy, I forget his name. I'll show you the picture first. But I'm already, oh, his name's Logan. But let me show you the picture in a second once I can get to the beginning. Let's see. Let me get to it. Here. I don't, I'm not used to my Kindle anymore, so I'm not sure how to get to the, to the um, thing that I'm on. So I might have to go all the way back. I'll just go all the way back real quick. But so far, it's already interesting because she met the guy. This is the first chapter, so I don't think it's a spoiler. So she met the guy, and then she went after the first guy. So we just got to the part where, where she was talking about, I mean, where she got the guy and was getting ready to kill him or torture him. So she doesn't kill him right away. But this is what it, the first one looks like. So it's adult, of course, and there's going to be death and stuff in it. But yeah, it's really good. I forget what her name is. And I got to go back to the thing. Let me see. Her name is Lena. Lena? 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 L-A-N-A? -A? Yeah. I'll read to you the what it, she says. Anyways, this the one guy his his partner was hidden on her. That's how they met <laughs> through. <laughs> and she was like, didn't want to have none of it. This is what she says to um to him. I I can get to it. I'm trying to get to it. She said. I was 16 years old, old little girl, the last time you saw me, I say with a dark smile, I'm all grown up now, what to play? The last three words are what triggers recognition. I see it in the way his pupil dilate, his nostrils flare, and a sense of understanding washes over his features. You? He whispered. No, no. You look nothing like her. She died, he adds in the same hushed tone. I survived, I said, back watching as his fear started slowly, I mean, starts to fade just as I know it would. Right now he's remembering just how weak I was as that horrified, terrified, horrified, terrified, sobbing little girl. He remembers how easily he overpowered me. His mind is playing tricks on him that he's still the one in control. 
despite the perilous, deadly situation. You took three turns. I go on, stay imposed and ready, but outwardly displaying a weakness I don't truly have, allowing his mind to continue to revert back to the night ten years ago. That means three pounds of flesh over the next three days, I go on. I see it happening before he launches himself at me, screaming in pain as he tries to tackle me to the floor. My knife slams into his shoulders, and another blood-curling screen erupts through the air as I spin on my knees, sliding in behind him as his face plants into the floor. My hand is still holding the knife, and I rip it away in less than a blink, almost simultaneously tossing the wire around his neck, winding it tightly, and then I choke him, revealing the pain, sounds until he grows limp and unconscious, right in the line of life and death. With the blood loss, he's too weak to fight back. It'll be easy to kill him right now, but death won't come too soon. I don't believe in mercy. Three pounds of flesh will be ex extracted while he's awake. He'll beg and plead. He'll pray to pass out, but he will fill it all, just like we did. So it sounds like more than one person they hurt him and whoever the other ones are. So she's out to get everybody that did whatever this is that happened. And now we're on chap I'm on chapter two with Logan. But already, you guys, woo! I think this one is exactly a hundred pages. I'm not positive, I'll let you guys know, but I'm gonna try I don't think I'm gonna read this all in one day because I got other things to do. But I might read at least the first book today. But yes. I'm back with a reading, a theme reading vlog, so I hope you guys enjoy. I won't spoil, like, you know, every, everything. I'm just going to give you, like, my overall impressions of, like, what happens in each book. But I won't, like, go into, like, big, um, you know, like, I won't, like, read like I did for that first one. I won't tell you, like, how she goes after everybody. You know what I mean. But I'm going to give you, like, my impressions, so some of them might go into spoily a little bit but i'm trying not to spoil like the big big parts of it but i'm super excited to like see what logan's gonna do because i'm sure he's gonna figure out eventually that she is the one that's doing it so i'm gonna and it's even though you should never kill anybody it's you know she has reasons to be going after these people so i'm intrigued because we know something happened to her and some girl and some I don't know if it was other girls or if it was her family I don't know but we know something happened to her and some other people so I'm curious like what all went down it sounds like maybe rape was involved so yeah but it sounds really good so yay so yeah um I will be back when I've read some more or when I finish the or when I finish the book. So I'll see you guys later. Hi everybody. I'm at the halfway halfway point in the book. I'm at 49%. So I should be done with it sometime today. I'm going to take a break because I'm going to start um, doing a little bit of diamond painting. I'm either going to listen what? to an audio book or um, listen to some music while I'm diamond painting. And then I got to make dinner and then I got... And then... After dinner, I'll probably relax for about an hour and then take the dog and the puppy out for a walk and then clean the house. Sorry it's loud. I forgot the door was open out there. But yeah, I'm on chapter 9 and like I said, 49% in. And yeah, it is dark. Dark, you guys. Like... They're talking about, like, how the um, she kills the guys. And, like, the last guy she killed, like, she cut off all of his fingers. Every guy. Like, like there's certain changes in certain things. But the one thing that stays the same is that she castrates them. So, you know, she cuts off their... You know! So, yeah. Gross. So, you know it has... You know it's rape. And we know that there was one other person because she said that... One person died, but not the other one. So, not her, of course. Uh, and she basically, like, took over somebody else's, you know, life. But, um, yeah. 
And of course, her and Logan are together. Well, you know, they like each other. And where I was, they just had, you know, sex for the first time. He just showed up at her house and, you know. Yeah. So that was very interesting, especially since she has like a um, kill board in her house. It's like locked in a, in a certain spot and it's locked the place, but I'm where the kill spot, I mean, we're not the kill spot, but where the kill board is. So yeah, and she's got her like little, the stuff that she uses, you know, her instruments. And we found out that there is somebody that is helping her. She told this person about what happened to her and that she wanted to revenge and he wanted the same thing. So he's helping her, not the cop, of course. <laughs> But yeah, that's where I'm at. But I'm going to let you guys go because I forgot to shut that door and it's going to get loud. And I will jibber jab with you guys when I have finished the book. Unless there's something all of a sudden that I want to talk about, you know, that pops up and I'm like, oh, I got to tell you guys about this. But otherwise, I'll be back sometime later tonight when I finish the book. Hi, everybody. So I finished the first one. Boy, did it, it, end, it, 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 it ended in a cliffhanger. But I started the second one. Um, I forget what the second one's called. Second one is called. Let me find it. <laughs> Side. Sidetracked. Yeah. First one was the risk, and now we're on the sidetrack. Or sidetrack, not the sidetrack, just sidetracked. So, yeah, I really liked the first one. Uh, but the only thing is, I don't know how this relationship's going to work. Because she's a killer. Even if she's doing it for revenge. Yeah. And we found out that it was her um, brother that was killed. They raped both of them. Her um, brother is gay. Was gay. And she wasn't pure, you know. She slept with a couple guys, you know, be before she was raped and stuff. So they killed her brother and left her where they thought she was dead. But they raped both of them and, yeah, did a lot of torture to them. So, yeah. So that's what we found out, but. I'm not going to tell you anything like, you know, how it ends or anything like that. But I am going to give you details like, you know, like what I just did with the brother. But I'm not going to, like I said, tell you how, like who all dies and, you know, or if anybody, die, or if any of these two die at the end or if they stay together at the end. I'm not going to tell you anything like that. But yeah, I am really liking it. Like I said, I just started Sidekick. Or sidetracked. So one of the cases that he works in, that he's working on, there's this killer going around, of course. And now he is obsessed. He's on the loose, the guy. They know who he is, but he got away. And, and he's um, obsessed with um, Logan, because Logan, you know, thought, figured out who it is. And now Logan's afraid that they're going to go after that the guy's gonna go after go after Lena Lana Lena how do you say her name and um but Lena Lana how do you say her name is kind of wants that to happen because she wants to be able to kill the guy and then you know because she don't want nothing you know nobody to go after her man you know I think she wants to protect her man <laughs> even though he could figure out any time that she's bad, you know? He could figure it out, probably. So, like I said, I'm very curious. Like, excuse me. I'm very curious, like, if he's going to find out, like I said, and if he's going to help her, turn her in. Yeah. So, we shall see, I guess, when we're done. But, yeah, I am really liking this. Like, wow. I'm like, ooh. 
yes, she was getting good. So, yeah. First one, I would say, is a four star. Maybe like a four and a half. But not quite enough to be a full five. But I definitely love Logan a lot. He's my favorite character so far. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to let you guys know that I finished it and then I started the second one. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to read any more tonight. I might watch some videos, get caught up on some YouTube videos, and read this one tomorrow. I might read one a day. We'll see. But yay, I read another book for the month. This will probably be the last book I finish, of course, because today is the last day of the month. <clears throat> I might later on, if I feel like reading, read some more in Red Horizon, which is another book I'm currently reading. But I think I'm going to take a break from Sidetracked, which is the second one, of course. And I'll update you guys when I tomorrow sometime. Unless I get bored with videos and can't get back into Red Horizon. And then I might go back into reading the second book. But if I do, and if I wind up finishing it tonight, then I will update you guys. Otherwise, like I said, I'll update you guys some t sometime tomorrow. It'll probably be more towards the evening because... My mom is coming over and staying till probably like Thursday or Friday. And my niece is coming with her. Yeah. So that's another reason why this might not be up. Even though I'm starting it today, I might not like be done with the series. Because I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done while my mom's here. So we shall see. But um, she ain't coming until later in the day because tomorrow's church. So I might try to... At least, sorry about that. I don't know what Vince is doing. <laughs> that was a weird sound, but whatever. But anyways, um, I should have time to read this one before she gets here tomorrow. Because it's only 112 pages or something like that, it said. It's really, like I said, each book is just a little over 100 pages. So, But I'm definitely like, oh my god, what's going to happen in this book? Because I want to know if the killer is going to go after her. Or if he's making it look like he's going to go after and he's going to go after Logan. I don't know, but I'm very curious. And, and I'm curious to see if she's going to kill any more of these people. So far, she's killed a lot. So, yeah. And like I told you, she has another, um, another uh, person that's helping her. But I'm going to let you guys go because it's getting loud. I'll talk to you guys, like I said, probably tomorrow. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I lied. I said I wasn't going to read any um, more in the series, and I'm almost done with the second book. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, oh, my gosh, you guys. Oh, my gosh, it's getting so dark. I think pretty soon he's going to figure it out. And I'm curious what he's going to do when he finds out, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So one of his team members, something happened and to this team member when she was younger. And um, Lainey, Lana, Lena, how do you say her name? Go, went after the, the person and killed them. And this lady that was from that town, she, um, she um, Lana, Lena, how do you say her name is? Um, rescued this girl and took her to this one lady that lived in that town. So something is going on. I think that whole town is like um, bad. Yeah. Very bad. Uh, I think they're corrupt. Maybe the cops or something. Because she doesn't seem to like cops even though she's with Logan. But yeah. So, something bad is going down in that town, you guys. Like, something super bad. <laughs> and something happened, and, and she got mad at Logan for a little bit. But now, you know, they're they're back together. But she was going to break up with them and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I am literally going to be done in a few minutes. I'm at... Uh, 111 out of 116 pages... So I'm going to finish it up and then I'll be back to tell you my final thoughts for book two. All right, you guys, I finished it. Wow. What a 
freaking cliffhanger. Like, I'm like, I want to read more now. But I'm going to try to hold off until tomorrow. But oh my God, freaking cliffhanger. Yes, I can't wait to see what happens next. This book, this series is so good. It's short though. I just wish it was, it would have been like just one book or maybe like a, just a little bit, like maybe two books, like a, like a couple hundred and then a couple another hundred, you know what I mean? So I think it adds up to like maybe a little over 500 pages probably once I'm done with the whole, the whole five books. So I wish they would have done like maybe 250 and then another book and another 250 or whatever the pages are. That's my only gripe. But... Oh my gosh, if, if it wasn't so expensive, like, I don't know if they have it to buy, but if it wasn't real expensive, man, would I get it. I'm going to see if it has it in paperback. Let's see. I don't think it does. I think it's just Kindle Unlimited. Yeah, it looks like it's just Kindle Unlimited, which is good, kind of, because otherwise I'd be buying them. But, oh my gosh, it's kind of like Criminal Minds, too, you know, like, I love, like, or which was the one? Is it Criminal Minds? Like, you know how, like, like they profile and stuff? I just love, like, that aspect of books. I just love books where they have that. So I like to, like, see how they're, like, category, categorizing, I mean, or, you know, putting them like if they like what kind of like you know how they're uh they decide like what type of crazy they are and stuff you know how they profile I think it's just so interesting but wow 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 that ended good I'm like okay I need to read and see how this is gonna end Yes, I'm trying not to spoil every good thing that happens in this book. So <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how it how the how it in what the cliffhanger was, but wow, 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 so wow, so wow, so that was it good. <laughs> I'm really gonna like finish probably this book tomorrow after I get back from church because I'm probably gonna read one after the other and try to finish it before my mom gets here because this is a good book and I got to find out what's going to happen. What is Logan going to do when he winds up finding out what's going on? I think it's getting close to him finding out just because of certain things that he knows now. It has nothing to do with her yet because I'll just say they're profiling wrong. They got the profile wrong, but I think he's going to start figuring out that they're profiling it all wrong. So that should be interesting. But yeah, with that, I've read 18 books this month. And I've read 75 books for the year out of the 100 that I want to read. So I need to read 25 more books. And I will be at my 100, my 100 goal. So yay! But this time, I'm really done for the night. I'm going to go find me a little something to snack on. Watch a couple of YouTube videos. And then go to bed at 12. And it's like 10, 15, 10, 16 right now. So yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this reading vlog and I will be back later. Hi everybody, happy Sunday and happy first of August and happy birthday month to me. Yay. Um, I read some more in the series. Of course, I am almost done with the third book. I have about, I'm on 80, I have, I'm at 87%. Oh, I'm trying to like tell you what it says. It says page 88 of 104. So I am almost done. And then this will be the third book that I finished. Yay. Today I got my pride head thingy from, um, what I always forget the name of it. Fable Band. And I got my um, Read Queer Books. Um, I think it says, yeah, because everybody deserves an, an happily ever after, an H-E-A, happily ever after. And that is from, of course, Hello Lovely. Yay. But yeah, 
oh gosh, this book is getting good. I'm hoping that he finds out pretty soon about her. And I want to see what he's going to do. Because this town, oh, they're at the town now. And the one girl um, taught, um, I mean, <laughs> and the other guys are like, take, you know, her along with you. You know, <laughs> Lena, Lana, Lena, how do you say her name? And he didn't want to, but everybody was like, yes, take her, take her, take her. <laughs> so she's getting ready to go with him back to her hometown, even though he don't know that it, you know. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure the rest of the book is going to take place there. Because they got to find out about the dirty secrets and everything of that town. Because that town is nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. But, yeah, um... There's a lot of crap going down now, so it's very, very good. So, yeah, I can't wait to see how this one ends, if it's going to end in another major cliffhanger like that last one did. The last couple did, I should say, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to finish this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I finished book three. It ends with, good, go stay with with her until I tell you otherwise. Mama's about to tell a story that's been burning a hole for over 10 years. It's one of the townspeople. She said she would have left a long time ago, but the baby, those babies need justice. And she knew that this time was coming. So she's getting ready to tell them what happened. All about this freaked up town. So, yay. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. So, book four is... Let me see. I'll tell you what it's called. Let me find it first. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find book four. I think that one's number... Sae? Maybe Sidekick? I'm not sure. Let me see what number this one is. I'm not sure which one's which. No, that ain't it. Hmm. What is the... I'll find it on my phone because I don't remember. I can't find it on there. But I'll tell you what number four is in a second. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to hear the story. What the heck is going on? Let's see. I'll tell you what it's, the fourth one's called if I can find it. Let's see. I think it's called All the Lies. Yeah, book four is called All the Lies. These covers are really, what you call it? Look at how risque, <laughs> look how sexy the colors are. But yep, I'm getting ready to read book four. This one is 141 pages, so it's a little bit more, so yay. I'm so excited to read more. So that's good. I want to see how everything ends. And they always have like different quotes. Now it has quotes from the person she likes. Um, the other one was quotes from William Shakespeare because it was her um, brother's favorite thing. And now it's Vola, Voltra, Vola, Volta. It's V O L T A I R E. Yeah, but I will talk to you guys when I've read some, and I'll let you guys know what's happening in book four. Hi, everybody. I finished the fourth book. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. What a cliffhanger. I don't know what's going to happen. I think she's going to go all psycho, psycho now for sure. Yikes. The last one, you guys, I'm going to be reading. This will be my... This is my second book for the month already. Once I finish the, um, the fifth one, it'll be my third book for the month. Three books already I'll be having done in August. The first day. Oh my gosh. I gotta find out what's gonna happen. I really gotta find out what's gonna happen. And I'm scared. <laughs> very, very scared. So, yeah. Wish me well for the last one because that was a damn cliffhanger. I almost started crying. But yeah, I'll update you guys later. Hi everybody, so I'm almost done. I'm half, 50% in. <laughs> so I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I have 50% more to go. 
boy, this thing's getting intense. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been crying a little. <laughs> Tears in my eyes. <laughs> but it's good. I just want to give you guys a quick update. I should be done with it later today. And I'm sure I'm going to be crying some more. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. But it's sad. I just want to see how everything is. So. But yeah, things are really, like I, the last couple of books have really been intense, but this one is really intense. Cause you know, it's the last book. So you know, something, either she's going to get away with it or something's gonna happen. She's gonna get arrested or killed or something, who knows? But we shall find out. So, well, I shall find out. I won't end the room. I won't end the, end for you guys. But, oh my gosh good but yeah I really can't say too much unless I really want to spoil stuff but just say I really love Lena Laney Laney I forget how you say it it's L-A-N-A -A. I really love her I know she's a killer but you know I was telling me and Erica I was talking to her about this and I said she's either if she didn't like have the revenge in her head to go after these people, then she probably would have killed herself. And I said, you know, because of everything that happened to her and her family. So, yeah. It's sad. It still doesn't excuse, you know. I mean, she's still a killer, but what do you do if you know, if you if people, if you if your brother was killed and your dad and you were left for dead and no one, no one, um, you know, tried to help you. That whole town is like basically corrupt and people that did try to help, they would be silent somehow. So, yeah. But I'm very intrigued to know who the actual killed, like, cause there was killings, like I said, that's what started this all, was people were being killed, girls, and they framed um, the, um, the, kill, the original killer framed Lane, Laney and her brother's um, dad. And we found out, like, how he was framed. So, yeah. Just, yeah, and how he died and everything. So, yeah. Very sad. But I'm going to let you guys go and I'll update you guys when I'm done. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. by that last clip and wow that ending was something else just say that just say it was and who the actual killer was I was not expecting that like I should have figured it out because of certain things but I was so involved in the rest of the case I mean you know the part with her killing the the people that I didn't even wasn't even put in other clues together so if you if you're not like me and you like 
try to piece more than one thing together, then you could probably figure out the twist, like who the actual killer was. But I had no idea. I was like, what? What, really? <laughs> so the first book I gave four stars. Book two and three, I gave five stars. And book four and five were six stars. Yeah. I don't know how people are going to feel about that ending. It's a very intriguing ending. So it just depends on the law and how you feel about the law. And you feel about certain things. But yeah. Very, very intriguing, you guys. Very intriguing. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> Major. I mean, I put some spoilers in, but like you guys know, I didn't put a whole lot of spoilers in because I didn't want to, like, tell you, like, who all, you know, who all um, were bad and stuff like that. Even though basically you're going to know. Well, basically I did tell you, but I didn't tell you who the um, the main killer, killer was. The one that hit her um, father got framed for do, um, killing. Yeah, I didn't tell you who the actual one that did it was, so. And I was not expecting it, like I said, so. It got me there. But I just love L L Lana, Lena, L Laney, Laney? How do you say her name? And I really love, um, now why did I forget his name? Logan. I felt kind of bad for him because he was so torn, but once he decided on, I'll, I won't tell you what side he went with, but once he decided what team he was going to be on, he went all out. Just say that. But very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. I highly recommend it if you like dark, tor tortured books and you kind of, and you emphasize more with the killer than the ones that are being killed. And if you're intrigued about what way Logan's going to go. Yeah. I really liked it. And like I said, you get rep in it. Because her and Logan. I mean, her, yeah, her and Logan are both straight. Then we got one of his partners that is bi. And then we have the, uh, the this one guy that is bi. The one that was in love with um, Lainey's brother. He's also bi, so... So you got that rep as well in there. Then you got some people that that um, emphasize, emphasized with the killer. I mean, you know, with Lainey. And, yeah. And some that didn't know. And some, did, like I said, that emphasized with her that didn't care. And, yeah, like I said, the ending was very, very intriguing. So, yeah, there's that. But, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys liked this. If anybody watched it, of course, since it was spoily, I don't know if you guys would want to read this book, but this series, but it's really good. But, like I said, there's a lot of, like, like I said, they get there, you know, cuts off and stuff, so... <laughs> And there's shootings and stabbings and all this other kind of stuff. So if you're kind of squeamish, maybe you won't want to read it. But it was all these, it was also cool because like um, her partner, I did tell you guys that she has somebody that's helping her. And um, that partner knows how to um, like hack into stuff. And he, and he was like um, hacking in and like leaving like certain messages to the town people that were involved and yeah you find out a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff besides that all ties into the killing of why she's killing the people but also like people that were like with her that were helping her that you didn't know about and things like that so it's very intriguing so yeah definitely definitely think if you like dark romance and you what a little something a little different this is definitely different i heard about this series for i don't remember if i told you guys from jess from peace love books and then the other day ashley was like i know a book that you like and i was like i was look, gonna look into that because i heard jess from peace love books talk about it so <laughs> and i read the whole thing so yay
definitely, definitely a good series. Probably going to be one of my favorite series because it was really good. And like I said, the last two were six stars. So and nothing was below a four. So yay. But I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this. If you did, you know how to do everything by now. You know to give my video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this up for your viewing pleasure. Happy readings. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I'm not sure what day this is going to go up, but probably Monday or Tuesday. So I hope you guys have a good week. And like I said, remember, life's too short. DNF if you have to, because there's books out there that you're going to love and books that you're not. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and I'll talk to you later.